yeah, there you go, man. I'm, I think I'm about finishing up this print right here. This metal. Um, like I say, uh, but pretty much, man, this is what it looks like. I print a little piece of some things so you can see I didn't finish it. As you can see, it's like a metal plastic like it's like a plastic metal it's plastic definitely plastic first uh here are some prints that i messed up earlier this and, and you know every time it print up something it makes like a little case these are like the cases i guess like the print see it come like that and the print the case around it first and then it'll do the print if you don't know anything about 3D printing, you know, see it going to little cases. I wish I had something to fix my scraps because I'm definitely going to have a lot of scrap. That's enough scrap right there probably to build that again. So, anyways, if you wanted to know how the metal, the stainless steel PLA filament turns out, this is how it turns out on the Robo 3D. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not what I thought it was going to be, but I guess I know I have to get a finished product and test it and check it out. I mean, like, you know, I'll get something together and assemble it. I'll be all right. I'm down in my little man cave, man. See the look. I oh, know you can't. Can't even switch the switch on the box. As you can see, I don't even have it hooked up to the spool. I haven't printed out another spool. I need to right now. Uh, but I actually call Robo 3D 24 hour customer service today. There was a guy named Austin, man. Answer the phone, man. Austin did not know nothing, man. I almost cursed, but I don't want to. Cause kids might be watching but Austin man he gave me wrong information I called him like man uh, cause I was couldn't get the metal fill the st stainless steel filament to roll right or whatnot I called and he was like well man we don't do metal we don't. and I was like yeah not metal but the stainless steel filament you know it's 80% metal particles and then the rest of it is something else or whatever kind of crap Anyways, he knew what I meant. I even called back later after he told me no, and I knew, and I got the metal working. I asked him about the wood, and he was like, no, I told you, it only do plastic. Like, he was sounding like as if I was stupid or something. Like, I didn't really appreciate that, man. I think y'all need to fire that guy. Well, at least, probably not fire him, man. Maybe that was rude, you know. Talk to him, man. Make sure he don't do that again, man. He working customer service. For one, he should have a different attitude about it. And for two, he need to know about the stuff if he working there. And if he the only one going to be asking the damn phone. Because I called like six times the same guy answered the phone. Then even after I told him I got it printing and got the metal working, I asked him about the wood. He was like, oh, I don't to do plastic, da 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 and I was like, oh, okay, well, I got the steel working, man. I just want to let you know, man, you know, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, oh, yeah, whatever. All right, okay, I bet you did. Ah, like, as if I was fucking lying to him or something. What the fuck, dude? You, I guess people do make prank calls and just talk to people for bullshit, but that ain't me. Did you get somebody more business oriented, not to look cousin on the phone. That's all I'm saying. Other than that, other than that, I always have good customer service with Rebel 3. Please don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing them. I'm bashing Austin. <laughs> but, as a matter of fact, Robo 3D had the best customer service I ever ran across in my fucking life. Hey, no shit, the dude was so cool. I can't remember the other dude's name, David, Daniel, or something. 
I remember he said his name one day in another video, man. But everybody else knew everything, man. They told me. I called a bunch of times, man. They did get upset. They were nice about it, cool. Like, yeah, yeah, man. Like, as if they wanted to help me. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, yeah. Like, they were waiting for me to call, you know? That's good customer fucking service, man. Patient everything. Like I say, best customer service I had in my life, Robo 3D Prime. That one time, that guy, Austin, it was kind of funny. Yeah, he sucked. He didn't know crap, man. Austin, if you watch this video, this is what I was telling you about. You probably know by now. Subscribe. Thank you. Stainless steel filament. <laughs> I'm not calling you dumb. You just misinformed me. Maybe you were misinformed yourself. But you know, whatever. That's what I'm bringing you guys. Where is the shit? I only have a couple minutes left. They always give you this number, right? But it don't always take that long, you know. So. Oh, that's a little piece of crappy drone I was trying to build, man. With um, just to test out the uh, that was my first print with the uh, what was it, nylon? It's alright. It's kind of flexible plastic. Oh, and there we have it. That's what I was making this video for you. You can see. Let's scrape this on up, see if I can get it with one hand without breaking anything. Maybe I can't hold. Oh, got it with one hand. Y'all see that? Look that song. And it come with a little scraper too, man. <laughs> it come with some tools, homie. Oh, yeah, see, that's the outline. Y'all seen it? I should have just left it on there for y'all to see it, but I scraped it up first. You probably can see it if you watch the video again. You paying attention, see? Believe it or not, it's heavy like metal, man. It's not like the plastic, trust me. This piece right here is freaking heavy, like heavier than this. So, and this is a piece of plastic drone. You know, bam. I messed up temperature. ABS, you got to have your temperature right, man. I found it out the hard way. Uh, anyways, I got to redo it. So, you know, bam, go on there like that. You know, four of those go around, you know, propellers go on it, bam, bam, you know. It's just cool, man. It's all right. You know. But yeah, it's pretty good, man. When it comes down to it, it's fucking pretty awesome. Test this out. I'll let you later. Peace.